They don't fit. And your ad said we fit every foot. Yes, ma'am, but our problem is what we're dealing with is not what Webster meant by feet. Now, <laughs> let's face it, girls, what we've got here are rib roasts with nails. <laughs> Now, what I would suggest is surrounding your tootsies with those little brown potatoes wrapped in foil and served with dry wine. Oh, over here, dear. Just put them anywhere. Hi, Al. Honey, you would have been so proud of me. I spent every penny you have, but not a cent more. <laughs> I need a little tip for Alejandro. Sure. Don't touch my wife. <laughs> Kmart, tomorrow, tennis. Hey, I understand your great need to shop. After all, you have to do something to break up that nothing you do at home. But you know, as I was vacuuming my shirt this morning, I said to myself, hey, I got a wife. I have to. Why else would I not care about my health? <laughs> What's your point, Al? I don't have any clean shirts, Peg. Do what I do. Buy a new one. Well, I would have, but I didn't want to wake you prying my wallet out of your claws. <laughs> Let's try this. Pretend the mall closes at three. Go home and clean my clothes. What am I being punished for? <laughs> OK, Al. I'll do the wash. But first, give me some more money. I need quarters for the machine. Hey, you're not going to get me with that one twice. We own that machine. <laughs> do the wash, Al. There's nothing to buy there. I know, let's compromise. Give me some money, and on your way home, you can pick up Chinese food, and we'll have a nice dinner. Nick, I'm serious. Look at this shirt. It doesn't show up in a mirror. Now go home, do the wash. Until then, you're cut off. Understand? No money. Yes, Al. Now, if you'll excuse me, the sun is setting, and my shirt wants to party. I have to put these shoes away. No more money! <laughs> Achoo! Bless you! Thank you, dear! <coughs> Better take something for that cough, Peg. Oh, I already did. <laughs> Honey, I'm gonna go home now and think about doing your laundry. Oh, oh. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, where's the pharmacy? Oh. Thank, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Al, Al, guess what I just saw? A mother with her children? <laughs> I just saw Elvis. Elvis who, Peg? Elvis Presley, the king, the pelvis. <laughs> Peg, let me explain three things to you. Number one, Elvis is dead. Number two, Elvis wasn't any good when he was alive. And number three, if he was alive, he'd want you to clean my shirt. <laughs> you don't believe me? As much as I believed you when you told me cleaning promotes heart disease. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. They meant smoking, but I didn't want to quit smoking. <laughs> Honey, I really did. I just saw Elvis. There's only one dead guy in the mall, Peg, and you're looking at him. <laughs> now go home and clean my shirt. Al, I saw Elvis. And if it turns out that it really was him, I want you to give me $500. Peg, if it turns out to be Elvis, I give you everything I have. I'd rather have $500. <laughs>